You're never as bad as your worst day, and you're never as good as your best day. He tries to put a self promoter. It's, it's time for the, time for the Suffering, suffering podcast. podcast. If we don't learn, we stagnate and eventually die. With each new interaction in life, we must pull the good lessons and the bad in order to learn those life lessons, to carry us forward to live our best lives for another day. Some lessons are hard learned battles that take us to dark places. We watch these scenarios from a distance and try our best to avoid them, taking the education that is taught by those that come before us. When we emerge from the classroom of life and our years are becoming fewer and fewer, that knowledge that we work so hard to attain will serve us in ways we could never imagine, making us better, stronger, and more resilient, opening our eyes and creating better human beings. I'm Kevin Donaldson here with Mike Felace, and on this very special episode of The Suffering Podcast, we return to all the things that we've learned for two seasons worth of education that we're grateful to attain. Suffering of a reality star with Kim D, and let's think about all the stuff that we learned today. The busy bee has no time for sorrow. Be a different person. Protect your anonymity, but most importantly, be strong, be humble, be compassionate. Very much so. Nothing worthwhile is easy. It's not a job, it's a calling. Never take anything for granted, but most importantly, and it's not only because I said it, well, it is because I said it. You're never as bad as your worst day, and you're never as good as your best day. He tries to put a self-promoter. Everyone wants to be important. Sometimes the best things come from the worst things. Anything is possible if you choose to use your time, but most importantly, be relentless. And let's talk about all the stuff that we learned today. We are all one mistake away. The world's better off without you, which is the biggest line of bullshit ever spoken. We all have the same devils, just at different levels. But most importantly, don't think you know everything, but know where to find it. (laughs) I tried to give you the wrong address, and you keep showing up here. You're like a lost penny. You always turn up. But I really do appreciate you coming in here and talking to us. And this has been very special for us, especially coming from our background. We love hearing this stuff. Thank you. And that's going to do it for this episode of The Suffering Podcast, The Suffering of a Pastor. And let's think about all the stuff that we learned today. Illiteracy equals ignorance. Forgiveness turns suffering around. Suffering has a shelf life. Learn to forgive yourself. But most importantly, endure, overcome. And believe. No Marvel Comics gave out degrees in literature. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much for your vote of confidence. Well, let's think about all the stuff that I've learned today. Number one, life is transactional. Anonymity can make you suffer. Comparison is the thief of joy. Abuse causes resistance to success. See? Random acts random acts of kindness have a great impact. But most importantly, live every day like it's your last. Normal is normal. Being good at your job has nothing to do with sexuality, unless you're a porn star. (laughs) There is no gay history. There's just history, and there's no such thing as a gay fireman. You're just a fireman, and you're a damn good fireman. Amen. But most importantly, be yourself. You find a career in the strangest place. Overindulgence is still overindulgence. Education will erase a stigma. Don't undervalue yourself, but most importantly, take the bull by the horns. Perspective. That one simple word. War is war. No matter what time, no matter what age. Sometimes you just have to, you have a job to do, and you just do it. Bite the bullet. Literally and figuratively sometimes. (laughs) Hitler was a shithead. (laughs) (laughs) Gratitude and honor. That's one of the biggest lessons that I've taken from you today. Absolutely. But most importantly, take care of yourself and take care of those around you. 